Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today's video is on 10 niche fragrances for life. So I'm going back over the tag video that I did about two years ago when I picked 10 niche fragrances that I would like to have for the rest of my life and would you believe it, there's some changes. So I'm gonna give you those 10 fragrances and tell you what they are now. But before that, I just want to say, of course, I know what's going on in the world and I've chosen to carry on doing videos as a distraction because a lot of people are stuck at home and maybe getting a bit bored of the old TV shows and stuff. So I'm gonna carry on putting out content. I'm gonna try and be as positive as I can. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit down at the moment. It is affecting me. I myself am very lucky, I'm in a safe place, I've got a safe job, that will be fine and I've got great health, if I catch it I'll be fine, I'm sure, I'm not worried about myself but I'm very very disappointed in certain things I'm seeing, the hoarding of food, the empty supermarket shelves, the driving up of prices because of some very very selfish people is making me a little bit crazy and a little bit angry and if you're a food hoarder then fuck off from my channel please and put your thumbs down and unsubscribe, I don't want you watching me. I know I can't, <laughs> I know I can't stop it but please just don't do it, it, it you're leaving elderly vulnerable people without their food that they need and people that are working really, really hard during this crisis, when they finally finish work, they go and try and get some food and they, they can't, there's nothing left. Stop it, stop it now. Okay, ran over. I'm gonna give my cat a little stroke and we'll carry on. Listen, cause she'll probably make a noise. There she goes. I, shall I show you her? Yeah, I'll show you her. There she is. So sorry if that was a little bit negative. I've got it off my chest now and let's move on. So in my previous video that was some two years ago, the choices I made for my top 10 niche fragrances for life, keep 10, toss the rest. We had Aqua de Palma Colonia Essenza. Well, actually I've emptied that bottle and at the moment I'm not planning to replace it. So as much as I liked it, there's ones that now overtake that one. Rome 63 from 4160 Tuesdays. I actually ended up giving the last of that bottle to my friend Cheryl because she loves that perfume so much. And now that perfume is hers, so I won't be replacing it. I'll just enjoy it when my friend wears it. 1861 from Zerzhoff. Le Plus Beaujour de Ma Vie from Guerlain. Pomelo Paradis. Uh, that one's now off the list, that's gone. Uh, Tobacco Rose from Papillon, that's actually moved off as well. Bois Darmini from Galan, that's not on the list either. Baccio di Velluto from Brigantia is no longer on the list. Iris Ganache from Galan, Powder and Dust. So let's see what I've got now then. So there's a couple of really new ones to me and I'll start with those. So. I just bought this, it's Whispers in the Library from Maison Margiela and I absolutely love it. It's, um, let's spray some on my hand. It starts off kind of spicy and rich, but it's also woody. It's definitely about woods and vanilla, but there's more to it than that. Not that I can quite explain what, <laughs> but starts off really rich and spicy and kind of syrupy and then it gets less rich and more woodsy, papery, vanilla-y. I think there's a hint of pepper in here as well. It's something about the dry down that I absolutely love. I think it's just the vanilla. The vanilla in here is absolutely stunning. It's not a cakey vanilla. It's not a, a sweet cupcake frosting type vanilla at all. It's a much more natural smelling, less sweet and woodsy kind of vanilla. I really love it. I get great performance from it. I'll get the whole day at work and it just gets better and better on the skin. That's why I'm loving it and I really don't ever want to be without it. So that's why it's in this list. Another new one to my collection or fairly new 
is Dendera by Centauri. So this is a fragrance created by Peter Carter, who is a Fragrance View, a YouTuber, a Fragrance View, and he launched his own brand. Was it this year? I think it was this year, just this year. And Dendera is my favorite from the line. It's a really spicy and smoky incense fragrance with a little tiny sort of touch of vanilla in the dried out, but mostly it's very ambery, very smoky, very resinous, really mysterious. It's like um, the kind of thing I would expect to smell in potions class at Harry Potter's school, but uh, just very mysterious and I really love it. So, and it's, it's very long lasting. Again, another one that will take me through a whole uh, 12 hour shift. Now let's go to something that was on the list last year and that is 1861 by Renaissance. It's still here and the reason why this is one of my favourite freshies, favourite summer fragrances. Just love how the mint and the citruses and the sort of light fruits all interplay together and how well the fragrance lasts for such a fresh fragrance and it's just beautiful. I, I love wearing it, even um, sometimes wear it when it's not hot and it just gives me a very fresh uplifting feel and as I say it lasts so well for such a fresh fragrance. I'm finding that what you pick is definitely influenced by the seasons. So that, that's probably why quite a lot of these are quite heavy fragrances and probably why Pamela Paradis in the end didn't quite make the cut because that's how I'm feeling right now. Even though it's fragrances for life, I am in still in winter in the cold season and I can't quite put too many freshies in here because, but I love this one. So this freshies here, this freshies for life. Another one that was in the list last year is Powder and Dust. So I was I was right about this one, Powder and Dust. Still absolutely loving it. Still way up there in my top three favourite favorite fragrances ever, Powder and Dust. It's got the most beautiful, rich pear drop note on the top. And there's some mimosa and there's a champagne accord which just gives it a kind of rather than a fizz a kind of a sharp a little sharp zing and in the dry down it's sort of uh, rich and vanillic as well i really love it it's really unusual it's not going to necessarily be for everyone but it is absolutely definitely for me powder and dust so another new one to the list and it's B by Zoologist. So B is all about the bee's environment, the bee's, I guess the bee's produce. Although it's not got a honey note as such, it does just purely smell very honeyed and sweet and rich. There's some beeswax in here and there's a little bit of heliotrope in the dry down so it goes a tiny bit almondy but the opening is a zingy and rich and sweet and syrupy all at the same time you've got ginger syrup but you also have this honeycomb type smell that's like the inside of a Cadbury's crunchy bar which I love really really long lasting and um, just so comforting and kind of uplifting at the same time, which I think at the moment we could all do with a bit of uplifting. This is my happy making fragrance. This is the scent of positivity for me. I love it. This one wasn't in the list last year, but I, I did have it. So it's been upgraded and it's Venetian Bergamot from Tom Ford. And this is another one that is quite fresh and may well be more suited to slightly warmer weather. However, it's very long lasting and it's a great projector and actually works perfectly in any season. But it does have this feeling of an iced drink. I'm picturing a glass of crushed ice with a green tinged drink, which is, I guess, almost unripened green bergamot. And then there's some gardenia petals floating in the top. It's 
and it's got some woodsiness, a sort of like cedar-like uh, woodsiness to it as well. Really, really beautiful, fresh fragrance that I love. This would be a great spring or summer wedding fragrance for a bride, I think. Perfect for that. I guess the gardenia petals would, would really make it perfect. So one that was in last year and is still in this year is Iris Ganache. A beautiful iris fragrance with a white chocolate accord, some cinnamon. It's rich, starts off a bit spicy. The dry down, the vanilla comes out and the vanilla in here is absolutely stunning as it usually is with a Guerlain fragrance. And I just absolutely love it. So it's iris ganache. Unfortunately, I've got my travel atomizer that's got about 10 mils in it and that's all I've got there. Just, just up to about there. And it's been discontinued. However, Guerlain are releasing this year a new fragrance in the Lart et Matier line. And it's called Iris Fold or Fold, Fold Iris. I can't remember. But, I think, what does it mean? I can't remember what it's called. But there is going to be a new Iris fragrance in the Lart et Matier line. So, kind of hoping it's going to be a suitable replacement for this one. And uh, one that wasn't in the list last year was Bengal Rouge. So yeah, last year there was Tobacco Rose. This year I've decided to switch it for Bengal Rouge simply because I fell head over heels in love with Bengal Rouge. And I just love, I really love the dry down. It's so cozy. It's like drinking a warm cup of hot chocolate. It's like a hug. It's like a cashmere blanket wrapped around you. It's very sensual and it's just gorgeous. It's a very gorgeous, ambery, sweet fragrance that I really, really love. There's a bit of honey in the opening. There's some rose, there's sandalwood, there's tonka. It's a bit spicy. It's just gorgeous and it goes on forever and ever and ever. It really lasts very well and I love it. So one that was in the list last year is Le Plou Beaujour de Ma Vie and here it is. I did share some of this out so that's why the bottle is not that full and I've got my travel, well, my small atomizer which I think is about probably about 30 mil. I've got a 30 mil atomizer. I think it is 30 mil. That's full. I recently filled it. So I'm okay for Le Plou Bajour de Ma Vie at the moment. And this one is a gorgeous fragrance. There's a tiny hint of aniseed in the opening. So a little bit like a star anise, or if you think about the French drink pastis which uh, would also be very similar to Perno. So it's that aniseedy uh, liqueur. It's kind of like that, but it's gone very quickly. And then you have orange blossom, you have a hint of incense, sugared almonds, which are to die for. And then, oh, it's so good. I wore this a few days ago, actually. Thoroughly enjoyed wearing it to work. It was a treat. And in the dry down, you get that gorgeous, gorgeous Guerlain vanilla dry down with just, just retains uh, aspects of all the other notes, but the vanilla just gets more and more forefront as you wear it. And it's really gorgeous and it lasts very, very long. So I love it. Le plus beau jour de ma vie. Oh, thumbnail opportunity. <laughs> Finally, my last one. Loon Feline. So this was not in last year's video because I didn't have it then. This was kindly gifted to me by the brand Atelier des Ours. Uh, when I went to Essence last year, uh, the lovely Megan, who is in charge of the marketing and training at Atelier des Ours, uh, she gifted me this beautiful bottle of Loon Feline and you can see the gold flakes in there. It's so stunning. And you have the... Uh, the seahorse etched into the lid there. It's an absolutely stunning presentation, one of the most beautiful presentations ever. And the fragrance matches the presentation. So oftentimes when I see a very extravagant presentation, very beautiful presentation, I think, hmm, 
that's where they spent their money then. That's where they put all their time and effort into the design of the bottle. What hope have we got that the perfume is gonna be as well crafted to match that presentation? Well, here is an example of where it really does. So this is a fragrance that has some sort of spicy saffron-like notes. It's almost leathery without going leathery. It's got a beautiful vanilla. It's a very spicy vanilla. It's not, again, it's not a cakey vanilla. It's more of a woody vanilla. It's extremely resinous and spicy and gorgeous and rich and another one that's really long lasting. It starts off almost a bit boozy and rich and spicy and as it sort of calms down on your skin it gets more sensual, less less syrupy I guess and a little bit more dry and a very sexy resinous vanilla type dry down. Really really love that one. So that is it, that is my 10 niche fragrances for life. Keep 10, toss the rest. So I am gonna try and restart this tag video. So I'm going to tag the Curious Perfumer. I would love you to do this one. Also, I've got to see Lizzie's. Uh, Lizzie from Rose and Jones and well, we need some boys, don't we? My mind went blank then. For the boys, I'm tagging Ben from Talking Sense, Tony from Fragdicted and Scott the Centurion. That's it then for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry if there was a, a slightly negative moment, but I just needed to say it. And my heart goes out to each and every one of you, every single person is facing a challenge in the world at the moment, whether it be their own personal challenges or the fears and worries that they have for those around them. It's a tough time. It's time for us all to pull together. So much love to every one of you and I will see you in the next video.